today we'll be showing you how to calibrate your PS4 or Xbox One controller on Windows 10. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. The good thing about modern gaming PCs is that most of your favorite controllers are now plug and play. Just plug it into your USB port or connect it via Bluetooth and you should be good to go. You may want to do some fine tuning, making sure that the analog sticks work without drift and have the right levels of sensitivity and dead zones as well. But there are a couple stages to this. Using the Windows calibration tool, then fine tuning your controller in Steam. In this video, we'll show you how to calibrate your controller in Windows 10. First, we'll use the old but still viable Windows calibration tool. You can press the Windows key, then type controller into the search bar, then click set up USB controllers. And this goes for whether your controller is actually USB or Bluetooth as well. In the new window, select your controller, then click properties, settings, calibrate. Follow all the steps in the wizard, then click OK. While the Windows calibration tool works for controllers, the users that most benefit from it are joystick users. You may need to play around in Steam to get your controller really working the way you want. Now to do this, open Steam, then open Big Picture. Now to open Big Picture, you can either double press the Xbox or PS button on your controller, or click the Big Picture button at the top right hand corner of the Steam window and that opens the awesome looking big picture menu. So next you want to click the settings cog and the controller settings. Then select your controller under detected controllers down the bottom and click calibrate. Now make sure to click lock out joystick navigation, then start full auto calibration. Here you'll be asked to move the analog sticks in different directions for about 10 times each side. So 10 times on the left and then 10 times on the right. Uh, and the number will count down as you do it. So just follow the instructions and your controller should be calibrated. So after you've done all that, go back to the main controller settings screen and again, go to calibrate for your controller. This time, don't select lock out joystick navigation and adjust the left stick and the right stick dead zones yourself until you're comfortable with them using your controller. Now the next part is fun in controller settings if you check the configuration support box for your controller you'll be able to fine tune the controls sensitivities and among others on a by game basis even if that game doesn't support game pads. So you can play your favorite strategy games or older keyboard and mouse games using your shiny modern controller, which is pretty cool. Now, once you've checked the relevant configuration support box, open a game with Big Picture. Then press the PS or Xbox equivalent button or Alt tab on your keyboard. And then you've got your controller configuration. Here you can really micromanage your controller for the game you're playing, including your analog sticks. Click the boxes pointing to the analog sticks to change things like the style of input and output axis. From here, click additional settings to dig into dead zones and sensitivity. And some of the settings here have explanations, but for others, you may need to just play around a bit. Alternatively, on the controller configuration screen, you can select browse configs down the bottom and use controller layouts that the community has come up with. The community configurations are voted on by users, so the best rated ones are listed at the top. If you want to take advantage of this, click a configuration, then apply configuration to use it. Um, one thing to note is that when I did it, uh, there was a different controller that had been used by the community. So you just want to be aware of this before you go ahead and change all your settings. But guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. Well, you should now have everything you need to calibrate your controller in Windows 10 and fine tune it per game. For more gaming related guides, see our GPU buying guide for 2021, as well as our list of the best side quest games you can get on your Oculus Quest or Quest 2, all of which can be found on our website, maketecheasier.com. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.